Talking time pieces with Tony Talking time pieces with Tony What is up? What is up? What is up, watch friends? Welcome to another episode of Talking Time Pieces with Tony. I'm Tony. Today we are going to review my Rolex Submariner 14060M. This is a 2006-2007. Uh, I know that because it's a Z serial number. So basically, Rolex used to you know use letters in front of their serial numbers as part of their serial numbers to determine the year the watch was manufactured. They don't do that anymore. Now everything's a mixed serial number. So whatever the current reference is, say for instance, you have a 124060, which is their current reference that's been out for several years. You don't really know the year of manufacture, but you know that when you purchase that watch on a specific date that that card is dated, most likely is the year or within a year that that watch was manufactured. So let's see if we can uh, discuss this a bit and uh, we'll get into the review and my thoughts on this. And what my thoughts are on compared to the 124060 that uh, I had. And uh, so right on. So the Rolex Submariner uh, 14060 no date was released in 1988 and it replaced the classic 5513. And the difference between the 5513 and the 14060 includes the uh, a sapphire crystal, trip lock crown, and it increased the depth rating to, to uh, 300 meters. Um, and also it was powered by the 3000 uh, caliber, which gave you about 50 hours of power reserve. Um, without going into all the, you know, all of the Submariners, you know, they all have little things all throughout all the years. You know what I mean? There's so many different reference numbers, but if you take, go from the 5513, which came out in 1962 and all the way up until 1988, then it was replaced by the 14060. Uh, 5513's an amazing vintage Rolex. I mean, these were, you know, the true tool watches for Rolex, you know, um, as far as the Submariners go. I mean, now they're not. They're more of like jewelry and just the beautiful pieces, though. Don't get me wrong. They're just not used in the way that they used to be used. Um, so the 5513 had tritium, um, and it also had a, uh, you know, a, a plexiglass crystal that was a box crystal, so it was raised... It was raised up when the 14060 came out. Um, they used the sapphire crystal, changed the movement to the 3000 caliber. So uh, the, the 14060 came out in 1988 and that ran through 1999. Uh, it had a black glossy dial with applied tritium hour markers and hands. The tritium version of the Rolex Mariner 14060 is has at the six o'clock position Swiss dash T25 and uh, it only featured two lines of text. Tritium dials were phased out in the late 90s uh, and fitted with Swiss only dials in 1999. All cases for the Rolex Submariner 14060 featured a uh, 40 millimeter case um, and they had drilled lug holes with a 93150 oyster bracelet folding clasp. So basically the clasp we have is pretty jangly, you know, um, but there's plenty of room to adjust it for micro adjustment. Um, the one thing about the 14060 with the tritium and the 14060M is basically with the tritium, you know, it, it patinas like that old vintage. If you see an old 5513, man, and it's got that, that beautiful patina on the dial and the way that the tritium, the, the loom, uh, fades out. It looks really cool. Um, when you have the 14060M from the 14060, the 14060M 
came out in uh, oh my gosh 1999 and uh, through 2000 and shoot uh, 2009 I think um, so the difference is basically this one has a 3130 movement so they upgraded the the, the movement from the 3000 to the to the 3130. Right now, the calibers in the 124060 are the 3230. So this is the 3130, about 50 hours of power reserve, maybe a little bit less. Um, aluminum bezel. Now also, this one is a 2006, 2007. And in 2007 uh, is when they added the four lines of text above the six o'clock. So mine's that sort of transitional year of from 2006 to 2007. I'm gonna say that this was probably made in the later part of 2006. 2007, they added four lines of text, but also the watches became COSC certified, which they were not COSC certified prior to that. So the difference with the M, not only does it have the 3130 movement in it, but the watch is also COSC certified. So, and this also has the 18 karat white gold indices and markers and loom, super luminova. So you're not gonna get that patina like the old school Rolex, but at the same time with this one is about as old as I'd wanna go with a sub and still feel comfortable wearing it if I was going swimming or diving, I don't dive, but if I were, then I would still be able to wear this watch comfortably without worrying about it. If I had a 5513, most likely wouldn't even go swimming in the watch just because of the age of the watch and you know you just you want to preserve that watch as best you can you don't want to take any chances my little sister has the same exact watch hers she purchased as a certified pre-owned and uh i think hers was a 2002 2004 ah, i'm sorry i can't remember uh and again the cool thing is is you know again they have the drilled holes and it's again the last ever of the uh, the sort of pure Rolex Submariner tool watches. The uh, this does have uh, solid links. It still has that. The bracelet is still very jangly, um, you know. But that's just part of the charm of the watch, isn't it? Let me put it on the wrist. Also, this has a larger balance wheel, balance bridge, uh, to increase the. Uh, power reserve you guys stop it kitties are fighting but having said all of that um you know it's it's really comfortable again i, I said I, the aluminum bezel it doesn't bother me the difference between say for instance the one two one four zero six zero m and the one two four zero six zero which is the current uh reference model is you don't have the maxi case um the, the watch even though it's a 41 millimeter for the the current reference wears bigger because it has that maxi case and it has a, a wider stance on your wrist so overall it just gives a bigger presence on your wrist i i love the watch that it was beautiful it was a little bit heavy and top heavy i guess you would say um it wore pretty well and i loved the watch however i've always loved the 40 millimeters um you know it just it fits better and i think it looks better and it just with the two lines of text is a opposed to the four lines of text it's not all cluttered up you know and of course i always prefer the the submariner without the cyclops date now don't get me wrong i really do like the cyclops on my gmt master or on a date just or on a day date um another thing too is with the serial number on this watch is on the inside of the bracelet well it's on the case it's stamped on the case you had to take the bracelet off and that's where you find the serial number in 2008 is when they started putting Rolex on the rehot, inner rehot of the watch. That's when you see the Rolex that goes all the way around the inside of the watch, and then the serial number is just at the six o'clock position on the rehot. So this one doesn't have that. That again came out like 2008. So um, I really do love this watch. Um, it's really nice to have a sub back on my wrist. I had the 124060 for a long time, a few years, and I didn't really ever wear it just because after I got my GMT Master, 
I felt that the sub was too big, you know, it was too thick, it was too big, and it felt clunky compared to the one to uh, my GMT Master. This one fits perfect for my wrist. I have a six and a half inch wrist. And overall, um, I can't complain about this watch. It's, uh, I, I got it with box, but no papers. So I'll most likely get it serviced at Rolex just so I can get service papers at least. But it is keeping really good time. It does have a replacement crystal, um, but, and it also is slightly polished. It's not over polished, but overall it's in really good shape. It's great to have another sub on the wrist and for anyone looking for a Submariner, there's plenty of these out there and prices are anywhere from about 7,500 to just 10,000 bucks or whatever. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I got nothing bad to say about it. I, uh, I'm just loving this watch. So on that note, we'll leave it at that. And I appreciate everyone who likes and subscribes and watches my videos. I'm just so grateful and I appreciate it. And you guys have a good one. We'll see you on the next one.